Hello everybody. Welcome from HBACR Design Engineering. I am Tuya Ao. Now, I want to talk about Chela. Chela is a large piece of machinery which is used to generate cool water and that used to provide air conditioning and bedding. You can see the chela down on the basement. You can also get chela up on the roof. In the chela, che water is produced in the evaporator. Leaving water from evaporator is approximately 6 degrees Celsius. Centrifugal pan is pushing that evaporator outlet water around the building where enter it into the air handling unit ASU. Air handling unit ASU collect up all the and want the heat within the building. This heat is then rotten back to the chela. The rotten the rotten water to chela is approximately 12 degrees Celsius. This water is then leave the chela again. The water leaf from chela is approximately 6 degrees Celsius. Water leaf from chela is approximately 6 degrees Celsius and water rotten to the chela is approximately 12 degrees Celsius. This cycle is repeat and repeat again. The heat that absorbed from Chela Evaboida is transferred via a refrigerant over to the condenser. Chela refrigerant sake and Che water sake are separated each other. Chela was transferred heat between these two sake. The heat pan that is removed in the condenser is then pushed by centrifugal band and then up into the cooling tower. In the cooling tower, the air is forced by a fan inside and that dissipates and reject the heat from the water. So, this water is becoming at a cooler temperature and sent back to the chela at 27 degrees Celsius. This returning water from the cooling tower is then back to the chela condenser is to reject more heat from the water. These are four main components which will appear in every chela. They are compressor, condenser, evaporator, expansion bar. We have the refrigeration circuit which pass around each of the four components and transfer that heat from the evaporator over to the condenser and back again. This constant route getting the heat out of the building and over to the condenser where it can be sent to the cooling tower. This secondary circuit you need to know about is the chain water loop. The heat absorbed by water in the bedding is sent to chela and back to the bedding. This that socket is the condenser socket. The heat which is being sent to the cooling tower and coming back to pick up more heat. The evaporator of the chain water socket is then sent out the water to the air handling unit ASU to collect the unwanted heat from the building and that returning at approximately 20 degrees Celsius and it coming back to the chela pass through the roof and by the time it leave again it need, it need to be around 6 degrees Celsius the water that is coming in is held within the tube and that keep the water completely isolated from the refrigerant. The two never miss. The refrigerant pass through, pick up the heat and 
just transferred that heat to the compressor. The compressor is the compressor is usually located above the chiller. Compressor generate driving force of the refrigerant that is pushing the refrigerant along the circuit. That refrigerant enter into the condenser that reject the heat into the condenser circuit. That water which is then being returned to the cooling tower up on the roof. It then entering again into the chiller through condenser water tube. Refrigerant come in and condenser around condense around the tube. Condense refrigerant flowing through the push by the compressor and they it hit the expansion bar. The expansion bar is expanding the refrigerant giving the greater ability to pick up heat when it get into the evaporator. You walk into the black room, you can spot a chiller. The black cylinder is evaporator on the chiller. You can tell this is the evaporator because chill water is produced there. So this is insulated because want to keep the cold water as possible. You can see refrigerant is at the top of the evaporator. And Refrigerant enter into the bottom of the evaporator. You can also see chain water entering and existing in the figure. Refrigerant leave the evaporator and head toward the compressor and this is known as the session line. We refer this session line as point one. I highlight I highlight the session line of the chiller in the photo. A refrigerant is existing the evaporator and entering into the compressor. I highlight the chiller compressor in the photo. As the refrigerant leaves from the compressor head toward the condenser by the discharge line, the discharge line is referred to as Point two. The discharge line is highlighted in the photo. The discharge line is out of the compressor coming down into the condenser. The highlighted line is the condenser water line. And the water is circulate between the condenser and the cooling tower. The water is coming down from the cooling tower and passing through the condenser. The water temperature is around 27 degrees Celsius. The water passes through the condenser and pick up all heat inside the condenser from the refrigerant. In the condenser, the water and refrigerant never mix with each other. The water is in the condenser tube or body and refrigerant is in the pipe of condenser. The water is circulated to the cooling tower. The unwanted heat is rejected from the bearing and is then sent back to the condenser in the continuous loop. The water leaves from the condenser is around about 32 degrees Celsius. But this may be depend on the application. Chela condenser is highlighted in the picture. It looks fairly similar to the evaporator. Refrigerant is entering the condenser and then it going to leave through the pipe. Condenser water in and out is shown in blue color highlighted in picture. The refrigerant leaves the condenser as referred to as uh, liquid line. That way referred to as point three. The liquid line is existing from the condenser passing through going into the expansion bar is shown as highlighted in picture. The the left highlighted one is expansion bar with insulation. The right highlighted one is 
expansion bar without insulation. Point one we find that the refrigerator is at low pressure, low temperature and saturated vapor. Uh, the refrigerant is going into the compressor and it gets compressed. When the refrigerant leaves the compressor as high pressure, high temperature, super heat vapor, the refrigerant that leaves the compressor and push up to a high pressure, high temperature, super heat vapor to the condenser because it needs to reject the heat that pick up in the evaporator. The refrigerant coming into the condenser it keep up some of it heat into the condenser water at as this occur to change the face of the refrigerant is changed to liquid in the condenser refrigerant leave from the condenser stay at high pressure it going to drop in temperature it now become a uh, saturated liquid refrigerant end up into the condenser is it from the condenser is highlighted in picture condenser water loop coming in and exit again is shown in highlighted in picture a uh, refrigerant enter into the condenser is high pressure high temperature super heat v by it going to leave as high pressure medium temperature saturated liquid refrigerant that is coming from the condenser to expansion bar and it going into the evaporator so it came in as a high pressure medium temperature saturated liquid into the expansion bar and it leave as a low pressure low temperature low liquid vapor mixture from expansion bar low pressure low temperature liquid vapor mixture and that into the evaporator is Show highlighted in picture. Che water pick up all the heat from the building and began one return che water and that one return che water and into the evaporator for richer heat. One water coming in passing through the pipe and coming into the evaporator chamber. That is going to start reject of it heat and transfer that through the pipe wall. That chill water will leave us much cooler. And then the cool chill water is go back around the building and provide air conditioning again. Thank you very much for watching my video.